Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Corrupt Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with um, part 11 of Mega Man Zero, the Game Boy Advance version, here on Retro Classics. Hope you guys are all doing well today, and on today's episode, I um, just wanted to update you guys a little bit on a couple different things. Uh, this episode, I believe, is coming out on the 15th or the 16th. Um, and we could beat the game in this episode. Um, however, that doesn't mean it's the end of the series. Um, and supposedly, you can actually make this jump. Um, I don't fucking see how. Is the gap too wide? Are you supposed to... Oh, I hit the corner. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you. Anyway, there's an easy way to do this. Um, uh, almost had it. Right freaking there. Mm. Anyway, if you want to do this the easy way, which I highly recommend, uh, just do that. <laughs> But yeah, um, apparently there are some things about the triple rod I did not understand entirely. Um, like there was another thing that was like easier to do with the triple rod. Uh, so if we change area, go back to disposal zone, I think it's the easier thing. Anyway. Uh, I did look up a few other things as well, which we'll get to those in a minute. Yeah, so you can pogo, apparently, on unbreakable things. I think includes spikes? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, let's restart save, actually. That'd be a little bit easier. Uh, from here, yeah. But, um, yeah, we already went over this. Um, so there should be enough time uh, before the last week of the month to um, do the hard mode playthrough, which I would like to finish because I, I don't care. We just saved. Okay, um... Okay, so I'll have to go back get that Cyber Elf, but... Uh, 
that's actually the floor that I want. Uh, there is some new dialogue from like some of the other reploids around the base, so we'll do that first. Uh, underground laboratory, yeah, I'll have to go back and get that cyber elf. Um, the other thing, so Totten, uh, he helps in the damage zone, which damage zone, which is not really helpful as like a descriptor. Um, what it actually does once you fully upgrade it, which does require 3,500 crystals, so like a lot. Um, it actually removes all of the instant death spikes in the game, which is pretty incredible. But it's not a defense thing like I thought it was. Um, and for these guys, half Margo, that's actually not bad. Um, yeah, they you don't have to use it during a boss fight and just use it in a level. And then when you fight the boss, he'll have half as much health as he ordinarily would. Um, so yeah, shelter actually does increase your defense. So I'm going to go for shelter. Yahoo, just what I wanted. And the green ones, oddly enough, are called, um, I don't quite have enough, that's fine. Animal type uh, cyber elves, which it actually does say on the left. So nurse, animal, and hacker, right? So um, I could go for another sub tank, but I'd rather have the defense boost, so. Uh, change area. Okay, we're already here, right? Okay, so we're gonna go around, grab a few things first, and then save before actually going to the mission, but... Um, yeah, so we should have time before the last week of the month to, um, to do the hard mode playthrough. Um, and as we get closer to the last week of the month, like the 25th, I think, um, we'll start that um, the August Members' Choice poll to uh, decide what the next Retro Classic series is going to be. So if you guys have been enjoying this one, uh, I will make sure Mega Man Zero Two is on that list. Um, which I'll probably yeah we'll put that on there um and i'll probably we won't have time for a round of rc samples so i'll bring back some options from some previous members choice polls um for retro classics and uh we'll go from there because there are a few that I've been wanting to do um, from that list. So let's go back to Reason Disposal Fire. Yeah. Because I just wanted to show like how the pogo thing is like helpful. Um, in this particular area. But, um, yeah, it took like 10 episodes to get to the final like, part of the game, so... I... And that was on a new playthrough, so I think hard mode is probably gonna go a lot faster. So we'll probably only need like 8 episodes. Okay, so it's actually this guy. So you're supposed to pogo up here. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Okay. You guys probably see what I'm, uh, where I'm going with this, though. That way you can get up here and then I guess you can probably make that jump which I'm not gonna 
do that because or you could do the other easy method and um you know just do that but yeah pogo totally works We still don't have the um, the final proficiency for the Z Saber. some more crystals so um, I'm just gonna go down here which I mean we don't have to do it this way but Actually, we might have enough right now. Possibly. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be a turtle? I mean, personally, I don't really see it, but... Uh... Okay, there's no visual indicator. Could get one more sub tank with 1200, but that would be probably unnecessary. Um, I 
So let's just change area, go back to um, the resistance base, I guess. Oh, and right. Actually, uh, talk to some of the characters and stuff, because I know some of them have new dialogue, so. Dun, dun. Can't believe Neo or Katie's attack has reached a base, but it could have been worse. Thank you, Zero. I'll protect our base. Yeah, you will? You sure about that? <laughs> In big trouble. I told them it's reckless to fight by ourselves. It's not my fault. I know, dude. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, I don't know. Thank goodness. Zero, you're right. I thought I was doomed. Thank you for saving us, Zero. I'm fine, thank you. Could have been worse. Is everyone okay? You don't need to worry about me in my laboratory anymore. You should go check Shield. Uh, okay, that's apparently everything. Hello, Saturn. Are you all right? If I were a little younger, I would kick their butts or toes. I envy young reploids. I wish I were a few years younger. You're not actually old. You just got modified to look like that. You told me that much, dude. Is everyone all right? I was lucky that it was just a scratch. You should be careful, Zero. I'm very grateful. Okay. so afraid. Is she fine? How about the others? I wonder what will happen to us. Zero. We won't lose to Neo or Cadia, will we? That's all. Okay. That's all. Alright. Okay. Transceiver. Data. The shield's fine, right? Oh, thank goodness. That New Arcadia. I'll never forgive them. Zero. Please avenge your fallen up, comrades. Mm hmm. Zero, I was so scared. She wasn't injured, was she? Zero, what's gonna happen to our base next? I don't wanna be deported back to New Arcadia. Mm hmm. I don't know. I mean, supposedly they're going to protect it while I'm gone. I never imagined that the base would be attacked. I'm very sorry that I allowed them inside. You saved us again, Zero. Thank you. Yeah, obviously. Oh, this is just to the surface, right? Alright, so I guess that's everybody except the people in the data room and the transceiver room. Bitch. An unfamiliar cyber elf appeared a while ago and decoded the security system. You're now able to go to Sydney Arcadia. We'll protect the base while you're away. Good luck. Decoded? Uh, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Zero, are you alright? I wonder what we should do. That's that's all? Okay. Can't talk to this guy? Save data before starting mission? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. How many are we at? 82? Cool. I hate that my code name is lazy now. That's some that's some bullshit right there. All right, 
change area. We'll go to the Arcadia Shrine. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we got new music. Hell yeah. What's with this uh, Greco-Roman architecture? <laughs> Wait, no, I can... Oh. Apparently that works, too. Ah. Uh. Ah, damn it. Oh. That sucked. Uh, there is also a cyber elf for like eliminating knockback apparently, which would be so good. Oh, is this the boss rush time? Why do they not have health bars? dude. And then it drops me all the way back here. Oh, that sucks. That straight up sucks. How the fuck? 
I guess I have to dash away from it. Can I even... Can I even do that? You're falling off of something. You can't like dash in that direction, right? No, you'd have to jump. So I'd have to... Fucking hell, why? So I'd have to dash jump away from it. Asshole, thank you. I was like, asshole, thank you. Thank you, asshole. <laughs> down a bit better. What the fuck? Which, like, sorry we're not doing as much, like, Commentary as usual, guys. Like, just trying to focus. Shit. Is there another way to get there that I'm not... I don't think so. Why is that not... Dude.
there has to be a way, you know? Oh, dude, yes. <sighs> that was such a pain in the ass. don't like the look of this because I kind of saw this from before. Okay, I'm gonna try something... kind of risky, maybe stupid. Ah, fuck. I have a feeling that's what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to pogo... fuck. Because I saw a thing over there, and the only thing I could see was a trail of enemies, so like... It seems like that's the thing you're supposed to do? I don't know if that's enough elevation. There's a trail of enemies. And it's like, it's so fucking difficult because the only way to pogo is if you hold down and not forward. So it's like, you can't keep moving forward, but you have to be in dash because otherwise I don't think you're gonna have the, uh, the momentum for the other ones. But as long as I don't touch the ground, I keep the dash momentum. Oh, you fucking asshole, that was it.
I'm gonna get a shitty ass grade on this mission and I do not care. kind of explain this if you guys haven't played this before so you have to like the regular dash jump is pretty much typical like if you guys have played the Mega Man X games which if you haven't you really should but oh my goodness it's terribly the thing that makes this the worst is the respawn so like enemies are respawning like as soon as they're off screen basically and their shots do not despawn. Like, they just keep going. Which is... Uh, I had a feeling it wasn't gonna work. So, to make the jump, basically you have to time it and hope. Because you can't, like, see some of the shots coming at you and they shoot in the diagonal directions. So you have to get the jump, like, just perfect so you don't actually hit the propeller, these guys are going to be a fucking problem. So I'm hoping if I don't actually go up there, that guy doesn't respawn because he doesn't fully go off screen. Oh my god, this motherfucker. So once you have it, like lined up pretty optimal like you have to dash jump and then temporarily just press down not forward so you won't be moving to initiate the start of the pogo but also keep your dash momentum and after that hopefully go through the other enemies without coming in contact with their propellers or getting shot randomly by one of them or one of the guys from below and hope that that can carry, because like if it doesn't, then you're just uh, fucked. But it's like super easy because essentially to like get knocked out of it, because essentially you have to be holding forward and then dash and then jump, and not hold diagonal forward, just or diagonal down forward, just down. To initiate the pogo, and this fucker is probably gonna mess with my shit. <sighs> my it's absolutely shit. I didn't think they would keep having any things like this that are like, oh yeah, you need to master the pogo to get this. Fuck. And also get very familiar with how the respawn works. Fuck, and that guy's respawned already. Okay, so he doesn't shoot. Fuck, if that part is off screen, but the guy from the bottom did. Because apparently I went up too high. To... Because if I go up to that ledge, yeah, the guy from below is going to respawn. So the only thing I can hope for... Okay, he's still shooting. That's not cool. Okay, but he's not now. Because he's... Okay, never mind. Okay, he's not now. He's too far off screen. Fuck. Okay. So it's probably best if I do make sure he shoots first because then I can, like, avoid the shot.
Though maybe? No, there's no way. No, you can't initiate a dash from the pogo. You have to dash from the ground to keep the dash momentum. Why? I hate this. Absolutely hate this. This is one of the worst, like, regular challenges in a retro game I, I've ever seen. For one specific fucking platforming bullshit, like, and it's in the middle of the mission, like, while I'm being graded. Which, that's like... I'm trying to not care about that, but... Fucking hell. Thing, like I have to jump from up here or maybe it's even past that just like remember where he is no right because I have to keep no yeah there's no way I mean maybe no there's no way no, it's, the angle is not right. Like, I've almost had it before from this spot, and I'm pretty sure it's from this spot. I hate this. Absolutely hate this. Wait a minute. Can I... Can I freeze him first? Freeze the first one, that'd be great. Right, they stop flying if you freeze them. thing is too there's like a little bit too much jank in this game for this to be like oh my 
especially like with the hitboxes and stuff, like this is not a fair challenge. Like, I love this game. I still do. But at no time have I felt more of the, like, limitations here of, like... Oh yeah, this is a Game Boy Advance game. As, like, with this. Fuck. Like, if it had just been a PlayStation 1 game... Mega Man X4 is so much better. So much better. Fuck. I had not refined my patience, like, playing, like, Armored Core growing up, this would be a very different situation. <laughs> like, this would be a very different situation. Son of a bitch. easy to accidentally hit the diagonal instead of the down. Like... Because you need, like, all the momentum. So, like, you just have to tap it very, very quickly. And then go back to using the diagonal. Like... Fucking... Why does he drop his shit up here? It's a perfect example of like... Yeah, this game is definitely not... Perfect. From a technical aspect. being lined up too. I saw that shit happening and I was like, okay, this is perfect. This is a great lineup. Let's just we can nail this. Be done with it, please. Okay, this is good. Why why did that not count? Just because he knocked me out of it? Like why was he even able to shoot? Like I I should have already hit him in the propeller which would have dropped him. like that one. Like, why? Yeah. Because I'm starting too far back, right?
A one up, wow. Thing I definitely don't need. <sighs> Why? Why? Like, I love NT Creates. They are so good at making pixel art games. Like, was this just like super early for them? Like, where they were still getting used to the idea? Was it because of the Game Boy Advance limitations and they just didn't prepare properly to, like, for the hardware limitations of that? Like, fuck. Like, any fucking projectile, man. Like, and that's what I'm kind of wondering. If, if you get the Cyber Elf that's, like, eliminates knockback, which I don't know which one it is, by the way. Um, do you just take damage and then keep going on your merry way? Because that would make this a hell of a lot easier. It's like half the time when I'm failing this, it's because I'm getting hit by some random projectile or some shit. Or is it still like, you do the flinch, you just don't get knocked back physically. gonna happen. Like, I'm not giving up on this. I know for a fucking fact. Like, this is it. This is how you do this. Fuck. There's no way it's not. Because there's a ledge there. Why else would they have this? legit pissed about this. Go ahead, game. Give me an F ranking for this mission. It's gonna happen. Watch. Just watch. And I'm actually happy about getting these one-ups, honestly, because, like, I'm probably gonna have to reach... Uh, try this shit. Once I do get to the end. And there's no midway save. So, like, the one thing I'm not doing again... Is this bullshit? Okay. I'm now I'm not sure anymore, like if that's the right spot to jump from. Because even when I do, even when I feel like I nailed it, what? 
I got a double hit off that one. It gave me more momentum. Or more height, whatever. Can I replicate that? If I can get that again, problem solved, man. can't consistently be replicated. Either that or I just got unlucky right there, so... Oh? What happened there? Double pogo off the first one doesn't seem like a reliable way to do this. fucking jump. that third one like a handful of times now. Alright, since it is inconsistent, what if I just like assume the double pogo is going to happen and then go after that? This uh, video is going on longer than expected, guys. This is, um... <gasps> Shit, fuck. This jump is gonna happen. Double pogo. Thank you. 
Why the fuck? I can see the thing up there, too. Like, there's definitely something up there. It's probably a cyber elf, too. Like... This is the most bullshit jump I've ever seen. been screwed anyway because the projectile man <sighs> yeah, these freaking reploids are scared of being retired man I'm a, I'm a little worried I'll have to retire this controller after this <laughs> fucking... Ah, oh, damn it. Like, they just casually fly up and down. Like, yeah, the timing on the first one really matters, but you have to get the timing for all fucking three of them. it a couple times I think I just got screwed on the timing because there's no way no I can't do a normal jump there's no way <sighs> yeah that's actually not surprising can now charge your attack. Cool. Come on, you sack of shit. No, that's not gonna work. It's like up here. Because you have to, like... It seems to me like you have to jump it so that you're kind of over him in the apex of your jump. And the only way uh, to reliably do that, as far as I can tell, it's a spin? That guy's back, great. I really hope, like, I'm just, like, doing this wrong. And that, like, there's an 
easy way to do this or some shit. I gotta deal with that fucker down there. I mean, in a way I don't, because like... I want to get this before the end of the episode. I know we're already over on time. And I'm like, not even close to the end of the mission. That was gonna do it. I thought the thought it was a good setup. I thought it had a good enough spacing, like the bounce height was pretty good. I felt like that was it. Fuck. gonna have so many enemies defeated and so much damage taken for this one. And I'm not gonna give a shit even remotely. Yeah, that one, that one was bad. As far as the timing on the other guys go, yeah, that one, that one was bad. I mean, there has to be a way to manipulate it to where you get the timings for the other ones. I have no idea how that works. What the hell? How did that happen? How the fuck did that happen? How did I have so much extra height? Wait a minute. Did I just make a discovery? No? I'm sorry? Was it a glitch? Hold on. I think it was straight up a glitch. I think for whatever reason, because of the stupid fucking hitbox, I think it just gave me like double the height. Because I thought it was because I hit the pogo and held the button. But I don't think that's it. Because I tried doing it again. And it just did the normal way. So I think I glitched the hitbox. Yeah, because holding the button doesn't do shit for height. Is it because of... Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute.
Wait, no, I am able to replicate it. Why? I... Hold on. Is this an intended thing? What? Dude, no way. Holy shit, that works. Hold on. Yeah, that works. What the fuck? Okay, so this is even more complicated than I thought. Yeah. Okay. So apparently, after you have the down... Okay. So you have to be very fast to do this properly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, during jump, you have to press down attack, right? Like, down first, then attack. And then before, as you hit your target, during the pogo, you have to keep holding down. In some form. Like, whether it's diagonal down in a direction, like, you still have to hold down. But if you're during dash, then yes, you need to keep using a direction, essentially. But you can dash jump on the pogo if you jump when you hit your target. Which the game never tells you. And I don't know if it works without doing the dash jump. Still a funky hitbox, though. For that first one. Oh, does that mean it would have been possible to initiate it right here? Fuck. Maybe. If I didn't fuck it up. Okay. It's still really hard to pull off. Honestly, my fingers kind of hurt right now. <laughs> but maybe from there? Maybe that's where you're supposed to start it. Because it seems like there would be enough space. And this ledge seems a lot easier. actually use that. Or actually, I can probably... Well, maybe. Okay. No, I don't think so. Because if you hit a ledge, it interrupts the whole process. And then I don't think you can get that jump height back. So I think you still have to do it from here. <sighs> Fuck. It's, yeah, it's still hard to pull off. I think I was just holding jump out of desperation. Fuck.
I'm trying to replicate it real quick just to see if that is how I did it. Motherfucker, now I can't get past that, like... Yep. Oh, fuck, you gotta be careful, though. Because apparently it just goes through the shit sometimes. Assuming if you have the no knockback thing, it's probably like way fucking easier. Why? Like, especially the fact that you have to, like... I don't know why I tried it right there dash jump into it or whatever like it's it's fine uh that that is basically what it is um just have to dash jump down spike then hold jump that's like as you hit your target Yeah, and it seems like you won't make it if you don't have the dash momentum, so that fucking sucks. Like, I feel like they should have mentioned that at some point about, like, the weapon. Like, hey, this weapon can do this, you know. Oh, and immediately there's a boss fight. Great. I have like a bunch of one-ups, so I kind of don't give a fuck right now. Holy shit, he is a big boss right now. Does he not charge in like an idiot like most bosses do? Good for him. fire. And I hate that sound effect. I think it's fire, because he's recoiling a little bit from it. Yeah, that's, yeah. They have like a physical animation for their weakness thing. Yeah, fuck this, I'm just using sub tank. I'm gonna get a terrible uh, grade anyway, so who the fuck cares, right? Oh, I can knock him out of that. Oh. Easy peasy, dog. Yeah, I don't imagine the rest of this is gonna take that long, and I don't wanna, like stop the episode mid-mission, and we're already a long episode, so I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just, let's just go. Oh, the stupid disappearing blocks now fire shit at you? Oh, that's bullshit. Wait, can I not? Oh. Okay, I thought you could wall jump on him. 
Apparently not. Wait. Oh, it's still the classic Mega Man thing. So I have to use them as platforms. But I can't wall jump off of them. Okay. What the fuck? Like, they don't stick around. Like, as soon as they start disappearing, they're gone. these fuckers are back. Okay. So that one's easy. It's just left and then right and then platform. Okay. Fuck. That is so dirty. Like when they start disappearing, that's when their hitbox leaves. Okay. Those two are right there. That one. Okay. Okay, then over there. Everybody enjoying this reference to Mega Man 2? Fuck! I think it's 2, where they introduced this. Okay, avoid that. What's this next one? That one. That one. Fucking hell, that was it. pushed me off. It's like you weren't quite on the platform. It's like, well, fuck off, dude. I was. Okay, wait for it. There it is. That sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Oh. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go. <sighs> I didn't refill the sub tank, did I? You are trespassing in the sanctuary of Master Rex. I, Hercules, and Cortus will eliminate you. In the name of Harpunia, Master of Guardian X. You should view it as an honor to be slashed to retirement by my sword. I don't. Can I pause? See? Yeah, I should refill the sub tank. Fuck. Hopefully there will be a good place for that after this. I imagine it's probably not fire again. Probably ice. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yep, it's ice. That's the end of mission. Can we go back to the base now? We've disrupted... Disrupted the area? Transover near your current position has been activated. You should return to base now and take a rest. Fuck yeah! I will take you up on that 100% shield and we can end this episode, finish this next time because I am late for a thing. Fuck. Can we get another sub tank? No? Alright. That's fine. That's fine. I return to base. Do I get a grade on the thing? Zero because I didn't use any elves. Oh wait, yeah, I did. Sub tanks count as elves. Clear time an hour. 600 enemies. <laughs> it's not lazy. 
something happens to you, I can't. Just please promise me. Didn't realize that was new. Uh, okay, process data. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, second slot. Yes, it's okay to overwrite. Data save. Uh, yeah, fuck it. That was some bullshit. Um, Alright, next episode, guys, we're gonna go get some... Uh, we're gonna get what we need to get the next sub-tank. Um, and then I think beat the game? Pretty sure? Really surprised the Z-Saber hasn't gone up yet. It's really surprising. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Sorry this one turned out to be so long, but that fucking jump. Ugh, that was... Unconscionable. Conscionable? It's terrible. It was really fucking bad. I can't believe that made it into the game. Like, the fact that I literally thought I glitched the hitbox for a sec. I was like, what? But no, apparently just dash jump, high jump, dash high jump pogoing is a thing, apparently. So. Oh, that is the downside to not using walkthroughs for these old games, but also, you know, the struggle is part of the experience. Because uh, back in the day, if you were playing this in 2002 when it came out, there's no way. You're, you're probably not, well, actually 2002. Yeah, a lot of people didn't just casually have access to, like, the internet at any time, you know? I mean, they could if it was on their, you know, it was around, but it was a lot less common. It was before, like, smartphones could connect easily, and um, home internet options were still, like, pretty shitty and a bunch of different stuff. Anyway, it, it wasn't... Even if you could, there weren't as many, like, walkthroughs and stuff like that at the time, um, especially for you know, newer games, like they were all like works in progress or fan-made. Your best bet was probably to try to find a strategy guide from like Brady Games or like, um, what was the other one? There's another one that was like super common back then. Brady and it was like two companies that did most of the strategy guides. Prima? That sounds right. Prima Games or Brady Games? I think it was Prima. Anyway. So that's probably the only way you would have known about it unless, like, you know, you had a friend that played the game and was like, oh hey, I found this cool secret. Um, but yeah. So really wish the game actually told you about that at some point. That'd be cool. Um, watch, it's one of the, like, <laughs> clear game rewards. Is like, oh, hey, now you can access, like, tips about, like, the different things in the game. It's like, did you know you can <laughs> pogo with the triple rod and also get, like, a dash pogo high jump if you can pull off this series of button inputs and actually hit the hitbox right? because, like, the hitboxes are a little jank because it's a Game Boy Advance game. <laughs> uh, dude. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'm very much late for a thing. I gotta get going. So yeah, next episode, we'll, um... We'll go back to the factory, because that's the best place for getting the crystals. Um... Get that sub-tank, and then beat the game. And then after that, we'll start the hard mode playthrough, which will probably go a lot more smoother, considering I think it's the exact same thing. It's just like hard, like you take more damage or something. I don't know exactly what the differences are, but um, yeah, and that'll probably be a lot shorter. I imagine the hard mode playthrough will probably only be like six or seven episodes since I already know what's coming. But anyway, thanks for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, the amazing people who make it possible, Noelle Stracona, and Aaron Schick. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. It vastly helps out. Very much appreciate it. And if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like them, get in on all of those membership benefits, check out that join button down below. Or there's also a link in the description talking about becoming a channel member. In case you happen to be on a platform that doesn't show a join button, uh, tiers start at $3 a month. It's only $0.10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the member's choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And there will be one happening the final week of August, which is pretty much set in stone now because I do want to try the hard mode playthrough in the series. I thought this game was a little longer from what I remembered, but it was probably just me struggling with it back in the day. So not making progress consistently, but when you play a game for like a series and that's episodic, you kind of have to make progress. So, you know, um, plus I've played a lot more Mega Man since I did first play this game back in the day. So hopefully I'm a little bit better at it, but um, oh, and if you are a new channel member, any of the previous members' choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those over on the membership tab. So even if you're just a member for a month, uh, yeah, hit up the membership tab and just vote on every single member's choice poll. Um, that way you can still influence the content that gets made here for quite some time, because if something gets more votes retroactively, bring it back for a future poll and this next member's choice poll for the end of August 2024 is going to have Mega Man Zero 2 as one of the options but the other three are going to be returning options from previous members choice polls so it will be a retro classic series though so for the retro classics members choice polls not the, not the other ones um, but this is an approximation of future announcements from the past, although even though it is an approximation, I think the details are pretty close. However, if you want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, it's totally fine. I get it. The bell doesn't work for me either. Um, but there's three other ways you can stay up to date. The community tab here on the channel, Arts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, you can stay up to date. And uh, links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner. But that's going to do it for today. So thank you once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.